Hello, welcome to Blackjack. So, uh, if you ever bought second-hand rigid frame and wondered if it was straight or not, this is a kind of a brief guide on how to make yourself 98% sure it's straight. So let's get on with it. So we've got a frame that we want to check it. So step one, sit back on his nose. 10 and 13 sixteenths across there. 10 and 14 sixteenths or 7 eighths, so those of you can do fractions. At the front, so we know that the rear end is now pulled in by 16th of an inch. It's not the end of the world because when you end this bit and this bit gets welded, the chain stays almost inevitably do that. The next thing we want to do, let's have a needle works properly, is uh, level it up this way. So this is step two, back needs to come up. This is what you want. The whole bad obsession motor sport bubble. It's got to come a bit further than that. Well, that's so close that it's uh, slightly untrue. So, at this point, another cardboard shim. Okay. So with the back of the frame jacked up, that's now smack in the middle, which tells us nothing at all. However, if we turn that that way, it doesn't matter. Let's zoom out a bit. It doesn't matter whether we're here or here. If we get that bubble in the middle across there. Which it isn't quite. So it's a bit low this side. Which is a bit of a shame because that's the side we've got to. So I'm gonna go and fiddle with that. We'll put some card shims under the frame to level it up. And then I'll be back. Okay, so step two A. It's been jacked up that way so this is level. Shimmed it under there. So that when I put here the bubbles in the middle. And what does that tell you? Well, that tells me the headstock should be vertical at this point. So, quick check proves that it is. And then, if I take the big and straight, without knocking the frame, put that through there, put my level on here. Let's have a look. So it's a little off to one side. But it's not horrendous if we take it over there and put it on the front just to check everything. Where are we at now? Well, fair enough, it's a little off to the same side. So you'd have to say that that was reasonably straight. Certainly, if you measure factory frames, by which I mean Japanese factory frames, throw a floor knife like, they're not always that great either. If we put that pin through there, <laughs> this isn't going to work because that ain't going on there. No. Right, there'll be another pause while I find another device. These aren't that dear, they're just uh, measuring, angle measuring things. And uh, if I put it on here, it measures 0.8 degrees. If I put it on here, it measures 0.2 degrees. And if I put it on here, measures 0.2 degrees as well. If I turn it the other way, measures 0.1. So we can say with a reasonable bounds of certainty that that is a square frame. Not necessarily the engine offset and all the rest that ain't necessarily going to be right, but the frame itself is square. A couple of you on it, it only takes a few minutes to do that. It's not um, 
well, let's put it like this. When I started filming this, there was 45 minutes of video left. No, 45 minutes of battery left. And um, it hasn't quite run out yet. So it doesn't take that long. Uh, so there you have it. Simple way to gauge your frame. You need a root, you need a tape ruler, two, two straight bars on the spirit level. Measure the gap to the axle plate to make sure they're parallel and they're not twisted like this or like that or whatever. 16th out is okay, it's, your quarter is pushing it. An eighth is probably fine too. Um, jack the back of the frame up to, a, to put a spirit level on the top of the steering head in line with the backbone. Jack the back of the frame up to that tells you the top of the steering head is level in that plane. Turn the thing through 90 degrees, step three. Jack the bottom corner of the frame up until you get it level crossways. Now it's level in both planes, you can take a, a bar put through the axle slots, measure that, step four, make sure that that's level. If that's level with the steering, if the steering head's like that and the axle's like that, you're good, you're pretty good. Then step five, put bar through the rear lower engine mount. Again measure that one and if that's in the same plane as the steering head and the, the top of the steering head, the rear spindle mounts, you're good to go. That's all there is to it really. It takes like, I don't know, 20 minutes. Um, <sighs> So, with that, I hope you found it interesting, I hope you found it useful, and take care of yourselves, and I shall see you in the next one. Hello, and welcome to Built with Blackjack. Um, <coughs> this week, we'll mostly be speaking in Klingon. Start again. Hello, welcome to Built Black Blackjacks. Um, I thought I'd have a go at looking, well, not looking at what the fuck am I talking about now? Start again, you prick. All right, that'd be an idea. Let's turn that off.